Sometimes you got to sit back and chill, man. It's going to be a lot of volatility inside the market. And um, it's, you don't got to get involved with that, right? Of course, go out there, vote, be the change you want to be, right? Um, but the volatility, and when I say volatility, that's like jumping into the market, making all of these changes, moving this around, doing that. Um, I'm just seeing too many people um, like get used to putting themselves in a position to, to lose capital in crypto, right? Um, first and foremost, right, this is not the time to be, like, connecting your wallet to this, to that. You feel me? Like, nah, don't keep it simple. I was always taught in life, keep it stupid simple. Now, we've seen this before, right? We know around election time, you know, everybody gets excited about, you know, blue, Red, but at the end of the day, history, history tells us that the market itself will do well regardless, right? Regardless of who becomes president. You just have to be patient here, right? For the next six to 12 months, right? And um, <laughs> I mean, it's in my opinion, I laugh at it because it's like, you think BlackRock, you think they're going to be loading up on all of this Bitcoin, all of this crypto um, and, and, and not be profitable? That's just not how history works, right? Now, the good thing is, if you're watching this video, then you have already committed and put yourself in a position to be part of this generational wealth transfer. Um, there's going to be a lot of people, unfortunately, that's going to run into crypto at the all-time highs, right? So when Bitcoin and all coins and, and all these tokens start pumping, right? Everybody's, you know, all the normies, right? They're going to be running to these exchanges. And guess what? We're already going to be loaded. And if anybody, you know, within the last one year, two years was was taking an opportunity to um, learn DeFi, right? Learn how to use decentralized exchanges, right? You're putting yourself at even bigger advantage on when it comes to first movers advantage so don't get the, the, like don't don't get discouraged don't get distracted right this is the time really um to in, in my opinion just chill relax take a step back if you want to do some type of consolidation do that but like don't get wrapped up into the hype of um trying to make the best portfolio right um we we kind of i have an idea what's going to work this cycle right ai gaming meme coins right um a jack of all trades is a master to none and you got to remember that so i've always told people to just kind of like focus on one or two narratives maybe three right at the most uh five to ten tokens ten to fifteen tokens at the most right you don't have to spread yourself too thin this is going to be hard to, to catch up with that right and then the things that, that happens in crypto is a lot of the same things that happen in crypto right um it's, it's the same connections it's the same elites it's the same circles right and the people that get ahead that make the most gains are the one that's early um i know a lot of people get wrapped up into um you know holding older tokens i don't see nothing wrong with that as long as you believe and have conviction in the project that's that right so um the reason though that i was able right because i've watched people in crypto and some people have made a lot of money and some people have really broke even or lost money because they've decided to just hold 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 without thinking or or making that adjustment right so in crypto you can always make an adjustment you can always come back and retest some of the things or reinvest in some of the things that you do have conviction in but the people that really, really get ahead in this market, in my opinion, was the ones that were a, a part of the narratives um, that had driven the most hype, right? That had driven the most liquidity. And what have we learned in this cycle is that it's been meme coins, AI, and gaming, right? You can sprinkle RWA and DPIN and all that stuff in there. But for the most part, meme coins, AI, gaming, right? And a few layer ones, which we deem casino. So just keep it simple, man keep it simple guys stop like making this market harder than what it has to be it doesn't have to be that hard it doesn't have to be that hard i told you you know all you got to do is be a part of um of a good group right um salute to the to, to council we got a community token and we got the our, our council right and we're always talking about different plays that you know in some cases we're early on right so networking is a big part of becoming sex successful in crypto right you, you know you have to network. Network is a big part of becoming set successful in anything, uh, you know, and uh, a lot of people miss that, right? They think they can do it all on their own. You can't do it all on your own. So you always want to 
have your ear to the streets, right? Be connected, right? That's one thing that Twitter allows you, Telegram allows you, Discord allows you, right? There's some pretty cool groups there. And um, these are the things where you might get whiff of something um, in its early stages and it puts you in a position to, to make some gains along the way. Then you can take those gains because more times than not on new launches, right? When you get into a new crypto, it goes up and then it, it crashes 70, 80%, right? And if you're able to take those profits, you can roll those profits into your convictional place. Of course, none of this is financial advice, but I've done that, right? I've done that. Um, do you always win? No. Right. You will take losses. Right. That's how new um, launches are. You're going to take losses, but sometimes you win. And in crypto specifically, all it takes is a good one or two wins. And when I say it can change your life, it can literally change your life. So never be afraid to pivot, um, but never be afraid to have conviction. Right. It's a thin line between love and hate. And you have to find that yourself. You have to find that yourself. Um but yeah, I'm not really, I'm, I'm chilling, right? I, I, I've been investing in the crypto for a while, guys. And I got a good net part of my net worth inside cryptocurrency. So I'm not per se a buyer right now, right? And I, I've said this for the last couple of months. I'm personally not a buyer right now, right? Because I've frankly been buying. But if you're new, if you're new, you know, um, I would study first. I would study um, around election. There's a lot of volatility, so I wouldn't like rush into that. I would just try to study. Um, if you got to go to YouTube, you know, I've, I've done videos on different narratives, how to, you know, if I only had a thousand dollars, what would I personally do? You know, those are some pretty good videos out there. Um, how to uh, make a portfolio. There's good videos out there on how to make a portfolio in today's time because things change so quick in crypto, man. It's just one one day you like this, one day you like that. So So things change. But I know the retail is coming. And the reason I say that, right, I was, I was talking to some people in my sports group, right? And it blew my mind. I'm like, what? The guy asked me, he said, Millie, have you ever heard of Mog Coin? And I'm like, what? And I, and you know, lately, you know, based off Marad's thesis, you know, Mog, Mog is a huge token that's being talked about on crypto Twitter. If you're a DJ, you know this. Elliot Trades, I'm Connor on Chain. These are some guys that have been talking about Mog for a while. And to see it finally reaching normies kind of blew my mind because this guy don't know nothing about crypto in fact i was the one that introduced him to the crypto.com app and um helped him kind of like create his crypto.com app um, right now he's just been hitting favorite on some of the tokens and watching it and that's what i said all you got to do bro just hit favorites you don't got to rush into anything so something about Malcoin caught his attention and this is why meme coins are going to do well in this cycle because despite not having supposed to have emotion in crypto meme coins resonate upon emotion right and if it's something you like about it there's a good chance you might buy it right um so and i, I told you guys this right when i uh uh gave gave uh some elon right to my girl and, and she was like oh that, that that picture is cute and i like that the name is elon right is did elon musk create it so this you know the, the, the if it, even if it's not true the narrative um will make a, a coin successful so that's just an example right but stick to your guns right salute to the jasmine family that's another one that's just a solid blue chip there's a lot of good blue chips a so tau tau guys you know tau has been correcting uh we see that sui and and um you know, so and as, as I seen a couple people in, in the comments say post chain, I don't do anything on post chain, so I don't know much about it on my channel. I like to talk to about things that I have experience with. If I've never had experience with, unfortunately, I can't talk about it. But if you hang around our discord, you're running to a lot of chads and DJs that use post chain and actually have made um, some pretty good profits over over there. So. Yeah, man, it, yeah, it's selection time. We, we we chilling right now. If that's why you see me kind of like slow down on the videos because I'm not really a buyer, right? I, I've been buying, right? Um, but I want to see people win, right? Because I think that it's still an opportunity to get early. But yeah, the guy, he asked me about mod coin. He's like, Billy, what's your mod coin? And then he's like, I'm like, what app are you using? He's like, I use crypto.com app. And I'm like, I gave him a list of what I thought the best meme coins that were listed on crypto.com at and he's like I'm a favorite them I'm gonna follow them I'm a, I'm a download telegram right he's an older cat like 44 43 right but he, he uh when I do my like my my sports um um podcast and stuff and he you know he seen my setup he was like well Millie what do, what do you do when we got to talking about it how I'm in crypto and web 3 and then like two months later he's asking me about mall coin right um so a lot of people are are, are are starting to catch on with crypto right 
But despite who becomes president, I think at the end of the day, it's going to do well long term. Right. I look at it like this. If Harris becomes president. Right. Short term, we dump. Right. But because the the Blue House, the Dems, their her policy, I think, is going to be a little bit more lenient compared to Biden. Right. So I think that she turns on the money printer. Right. Because she stated that we're going to get 50 K to small businesses and then people are going to jump on that. She stated we're going to legalize uh, marijuana everywhere uh, to help people uh, start uh, um um, dispensaries and that's something that I'm interested in I'm, I if, if that happens if she gets becomes president and that happens I most definitely probably would 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 start a dispensary right that's that's something that I would do um, she also stated that uh, she wants to help black men and, and protect their crypto right but we so we we know that the, the policy is gonna be a little bit more lenient right and they're gonna turn on the money printer fair cuts BlackRock is gonna pump this stuff this stuff is gonna go in the media if Trump becomes president, I think, and, and it's funny, right? Because in, in, in Harris, you can probably say there's more potential there because her policy is about giving out, right? Helping middle class, helping everybody, closing the gap between, you know, the wealthy and, and middle class, which is cool. Trump is, a, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's, I don't want to say it's, you know, it, it People don't understand what he's working to do, but if you are a business person like me, I've had businesses, so that's why I understand where Trump is coming from as a businessman. I think running the country, he is the best for like running a business, the connections, the networking. That's my opinion, right? Uh, but at the end of the oh, whoa, 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 now, don't mess with no bees. At the end of the day, um, his policy, based on what we see form um DeFi, right he's gonna say uh, he's getting gary gensler out of the office uh he's gonna make sure bitcoin is, is made of reserve right he's gonna make sure that crypto there's no crypto taxes right he's gonna make the u.s the crypto hub right all of this good stuff so at the end of the day i think that him and elon are going to run a tighter ship so I don't think there's going to be as much lenient liquidity or giving out or stimulus as it would be if Harris was the president, right? But both sides are going to be good for crypto because Elon is in crypto, Trump is in crypto. So if they're pro crypto, it's going it, it, it's not going to be that dump first. It's going to be a super pump and then maybe some inflation comes around and Elon and and Trump they're going to be a little bit more tight. With monetary and fiscal policy right but they're going to put people you know within the sec that's pro crypto right so the laws everything would be a little bit more lenient so in my opinion it just works good for both parties i can see where the market does well regardless on who becomes president so i'm gonna leave y'all with that man and i ran it enough uh, protect your crypto protect your crypto uh stop connecting your wallet stop doing dumb shit right uh now is not the time for that hard wallet cold wallet protect your crypto see too many scams right and commit to your portfolio stop moving around stop doing this stop doing that just commit man commit to your portfolio you ain't gotta hold the same coins your favorite influencer hold just commit and when you commit to your portfolio Good things happen right i think a lot of people and a lot of different coins are going to pump so you might not have the jackpot or the golden ticket but hey if you make 50k 100k you still won you don't got to make 1 million right you still won if you made 50k 100k right i think that's still a win right so guys let the word to the wise be efficient and sufficient for those out there um eat good practice good health um, and tell a family member or someone around you, you love them, right? Health is wealth. Um, and wake every day. Um, wake up every day with love in your heart. Um, it's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.